present now and ask, what have you been doing this week, Laura? Oh, I've just been testing out my superhuman strength in an exoskeleton. <laughs> Forget man versus machine, at this Curry's distribution centre, they're on the same team. Some workers here are augmented by exoskeletons, giving them super strength. It's called the Cray X and is a wearable robotic device designed to assist those who need to do labour intensive manual tasks. These guys work 11-hour shifts, and this would generally be pretty heavy work. They can only wear the exoskeleton for eight hours of that, but if you watch them lifting, it does look pretty effortless. It aims to not only support up to 30 kilograms of weight, but also to make the user lift more ergonomically, both of which should protect the area most likely to get injured in a place like this, the lower back. We are the biggest tech retailer in the country, so therefore using tech in our supply chain is kind of important to us. You can see the work that we do here, particularly on loading trailers, can be quite manual. So therefore, you know, anything that we can do to make that job easier for those colleagues has got to be a great thing to do. The instinct is to walk like a robot, but you don't actually need to. I like the sounds it makes. And it does take some getting used to. So if you come oh. down nice and slow, and then come nice and quick. Whoa! <laughs> okay, I feel like a bit of a shock when you do that. And that's at 30% only. That's at 30% 30 only? only. I'm testing 60 just to see what it feels like. Yes, that's definitely more powerful. It's starting to feel a bit more instinctive. So maybe it's time to start doing some lifting. Right, that's feeling normal. That didn't feel that different so far, but let me lift it again. OK, that's where I've got the power of the suit. And I feel like that's where it's protecting my back. I didn't feel that in my back in the way I normally would. Now onto something heavier, just because I can. I feel like I'm half robot and now I'm going to pick up a robotic vacuum. Oh, that's the future. Again, I didn't feel the strain of lifting it. I'm going to try putting it up here. What's quite interesting is I can't really feel the difference in weight between any of the boxes, and I think it's because that's where the support is being taken in my back. What we combine in our product is the flexibility and the intelligence of a person together with the power and the mechanical endurance of a machine. I think the product is such that this is now ready for really widespread use for male and female users in the logistics and industrial environment. It's too early to know whether they're increasing productivity here, but they are expected to be reducing injury. You've just got to hope it won't mean that more's expected from the workers. Next, these devices could make it into care homes to support carers lifting. But the company behind them dreams that one day they may become the norm for many of us to wear when we have a spot of strenuous work to do.